Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me for another installment of OU Culinary Medicine's Pantry Challenge. I'm Valerie Carter, chef for the OU Culinary Medicine program. In the, the last video, I cooked black beans from scratch, so dry black beans, cooked those till they were soft, and I showed you all the steps for that. And now we're gonna use those leftover black beans and make a black bean patty, and I'm gonna get right at it. These black bean patties are a very simple recipe. There are several ingredients, but they add a lot of flavor and it is very easy to put together. First thing that we're gonna do, um, the black beans are in a bowl and we're just gonna start adding all of the other ingredients, which are our flax egg, half a cup of oat flour. So if you don't want to buy oat flour at the store, um, I just put mine in a coffee grinder and made oat flour. Two teaspoons of ground cumin. Half a cup of corn kernels, those were frozen and I just thawed those. One jalapeno. It says one small jalapeno, but I like jalapeno, so I guess we can do one very large jalapeno. They don't have to be a perfect dice, so we're actually gonna go ahead and just mince through. So that is just all gonna go right into the black bean mixture. Next thing we're gonna do um, is some garlic. So our recipe actually calls for two teaspoons of garlic, but we'll just do two or three cloves and not worry about measuring it. So we have this nicely minced garlic, definitely more than the two teaspoons that the recipe calls for, but it will be delicious anyway. Our recipe calls for six green onion, and so I'm just going to thinly slice these green onion. Green tops only. Okay, our recipe calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of chili flakes. So this is a teaspoon measure. I kind of guesstimate on that. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. tablespoon of sriracha. Okay, and then it calls for the zest and juice of one lime. Oops. So we really are just going for the green. And so you can see that when I get down to the white, I'm stopping and I'm just getting the green zest. And that's where all the um, lime essential oils are that smell so good and taste so good. And then all of that zest just goes right in along with a good squeeze of the lime. The last ingredient that our recipe calls for is a couple of tablespoons of um, canola oil or olive oil. And that is going to help our black bean patty just crisp up a little bit, just have kind of a little bit of a crisp texture on the outside. So two tablespoons. So this just all gets mixed up together mash everything together, stir it very well. So once the, you get these all nice and mashed, they're gonna go into the refrigerator for um, just a little rest. I'm gonna say about 15 minutes because that's gonna help the um, oat flour start absorbing, excuse me, it starts to absorb any extra liquid and makes the patties nice and firm. And we're just gonna scoop out these black bean patties and they're definitely still very soft. But they are gonna firm up as they bake and then they um, firm up even more when they start to cool. And then each one is gonna get just a little spritz of pan spray. This is olive oil pan spray. Just pat them down a little bit and these are gonna go right into the oven at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. Okay, so our black bean patties have finished baking and they really do look great. You can see that they still yield just a little bit when they're touched, but after they sit for about 10 minutes, they're gonna be perfect to put on a, on a bun or just eat with some coleslaw. We got a couple of really cool entries last week. One of them was um, Shelly Fowler asking what to do with five spice powder. She said that she has used it in a couple of recipes, but it's been really strong. 
And I think one place I would start is just on a roasted vegetable, like a roasted root vegetable, like um, sweet potato. Maybe toss a few sweet potatoes um, with some, about a half a teaspoon of the Chinese five spice powder, a little bit of vegetable oil, salt and pepper, and roast until tender. It does have a strong flavor, so you do wanna have kind of a light hand with that. Thank you for joining me for the OU Pantry Challenge. Um, these are our finished black bean patties. They do look really good. Um, please don't forget to send in your entries. Just remember to take a picture of yourself with um, some random ingredients that you have that you don't know what to do with, and I'll do my best to figure out what you can do with them. Thank you.